everyone. Today we're going to be converting mods from original Skyrim into Skyrim Special Edition. And we're also going to be working on the texture fix for those mods because for some reason when you put it in game it'll render the mesh and the texture will be some kind of rainbow kind of thing or it'll just be gray for some re reason. I'm not really sure why that is exactly. I know it has to do with the texture compression, but you know if you're t tuning into this right now, then you're probably like, come on, just fix it already. I want to get back to my game. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and dive right into that. You will need one to two tools just to start off with. The most basic one you're going to need is Body Slide and Outfit Studio. Really the only thing we're going to be using is Outfit Studio, although they come uh, packaged together so you can't really just download that. And if you're working on these and um, they're for like, female characters or just any characters in general, Outfit Studio is really helpful and you may already have this anyway, but you're going to need that. and you may need Bethesda Archive Extractor depending on if your textures are missing, did they come with textures. Some mods rely on in-game textures and since they were compressed differently with a different method of compression in Special Edition instead of in Original Edition, then for some reason it doesn't call the right textures or it calls uh, no texture, like there's nothing there. So we may also need that, but we're first going to go with this. After you've downloaded it, and you can load it from Mod Manager, that's what I recommend or prefer, more like it really doesn't matter, but it's more convenient. You're already here with your mods and you just do that. Go to Outfit Studio, File, Import NIF, and this is when you're going to go to your Skyrim directory. In the Skyrim directory data, then depending on what mod it is, you'll go and reloading the NIF, which is the mesh. So let's see, we have, hmm, I don't know, we'll go with DLC2, which is the Dragonborn DLC. I had problems with this one. This is actually why I had to research all this and look up for because my Stalrim armor I'm using uh, an armor replacer from original Skyrim I'm like I'm going to import all these mods and see what works and what doesn't so I still have all of these and they are most of them are added manually. I only have a few in here actually but you go in here and do both of them or just one of them but if for some reason some character is wearing one then obviously you want to not have your immersion broken by the fact that they're wearing a, a gray mask that you can't really tell what it is so we'll just go ahead and use heavy for an example and you can do this I did all of these just to be sure, but I think the ones that the mod mainly uses is the male and female. So we'll go in here to female, and uh, well actually I already did female, I don't recall doing the male because there is nobody that I've actually seen wearing Stalrim armor. I just wanted one for my character which is female this time. So these are all of your ones for boots, cuirass, and the reason they have zero and one is because this is the minimal weight and this is the maximum weight. So when there it goes on the weight slider, then it knows to uh, take this one and this one and then whatever percentage it needs to between the two for the, the uh, NPC or character's weight. So we'll just go with... Uh, Curious zero, it's a good place to start. Then you'll have this, and if it does have the textures loaded correctly, then it'll see uh, textures right here. You won't have to really do anything, but if it doesn't, then like say you were loading outfit, it says automatically search for. The way that it found this texture automatically is 
when you go in here and go to the data it has meshes and textures lined up in the exact same kind of uh, directory and this is just because I had to unload some for other mods like Dawn Guard and everything so we'll get to that in a second but when you go in here then you'll notice that it is also DLC 2 and it is also under uh, armor or whatever the case may be and it'll be in here exactly but it'll be a DDS file so as long as it's in here like that and it's requesting the right thing then it'll show up but if it doesn't then it'll be um, it'll be just kinda like gray as in what it is rendered in game. This also works if uh, you have the uh, armor and you can tell by the body shape that they're supposed to have the armor on but the armor is invisible so this also works for that. I had a few that did that like the heavy farmer or maybe it was the ancient farmer cures. Anyway it was one of those in the dawn guard. It was really annoying. I'm like can we fix this? So we did and now I actually really don't have any good for an example but um, anyway what you do if it's like this and it looks like this but it doesn't look like this in game then you go and export it directly and you can go and rename it I don't really do that and you'd also do the same thing make sure you X out and then go back in because if you import one and then export it and import another one it won't erase that one it'll just load it on top of it then your your meshes will get really messed up I don't know if it would make it crash but it definitely wouldn't look like it's supposed to so uh, what are we going to choose? I don't know. Farmer heavy. Hmm. Like this. And also, when I loaded this one, it was like way off out here somewhere. Like it wasn't supposed to be. If you need to fix that, I'll just give you an example. Like, um,. Click those two, and to move it, then you can use this one, or you can use the move scale, and it was actually smaller, which is kind of weird, but then you do that, and, uh, wait a minute, never mind, it was like out here somewhere, then, you know, this, you can move it back and forth along the axis, this will scale it in whatever direction, that will generally scale it, and then, you basically just want to make sure that it's as close a fit as you want it to be immersively. If it's female armor, then it's probably going to be very tight. And if it's male armor, then it may be a little looser if you want it to be, but it could also be tight if you wish. So you just want to make sure that it's not cutting through anything like that. I won't take time to the video to be like, oh, meticulous, and we're going to put it in here like this, but if you need to just play around with this it can also rotate it but I didn't have any problems with it being rotated the wrong way I just needed to actually move it and scale it so after you find that if you don't have the correct textures then what you're going to need to do is go in here to the Bethesda archive extractor now you can find both of these just go to files categories go down to utilities and they'll both be right here you can find them there I may also put a link in the description but it's really easy to find you're just going to want to download that and once you download it then I recommend putting it in the game folder although I haven't really seen anything that requires it to be in there so when it opens it should look something like this you can drag the archives or you can just go to open file whichever one is easier for you I guess you're going to want to go to data and this works for the meshes as well as the textures although I didn't have any problems with the meshes all the meshes were there they, some of them just didn't have textures so you want to go down to Skyrim dash textures now if you have a 
really high-end PC that can run stuff no problem then it, it would be easiest to go and select all these just drag and drop or control click whatever your fancy is and do that but that does take um, I don't know depending on what whatever it is I won't take video time to do that but we'll just open one here real quick and go to textures down there actors and then you'll have all these textures for wherever that one is you need to actually find the one that is relevant here sorry forgotten which one it is I'll just open a few of them oh crap sorry that didn't work epic fail We'll do that. That should should work. Then you go textures. It may take a little bit to find. That's why I recommend loading a few of them because they aren't actually labeled. Like this one's for Don Guard, and this one is for Dragonborn, and this one is for Vanilla. This one's for no. You have to go through here and look for whichever one you happen to need. And okay. Here we go. So, I guess, depending on what you want to do, you can go all the way up. You can unload the entire thing if you want to, but um, if you just need, like, one of them, like, maybe your Nordic carb isn't behaving properly, you need the textures for that, then you go in here, select this directory, and extract. And this one... I think it's uh, data, but it may be uh, the other one, textures, data. Anyway, I remember I did have to copy and paste one from there, but just as long as uh, the textures line up and they are get in their proper directories, then it shouldn't be a problem. Then you want to go to, we'll just select data, and then it'll go through all this. And that may seem like a lot, and if you have a very slow computer, then it probably will be a lot. But, um, I mean, some things just can't be helped. Alright, it doesn't seem like it should be that much, but, um, it may actually be doing the whole thing. I'm not sure if it actually does which one or not. Oh, haha. <laughs> I see what it is now. Yes, I forgot to select none, so we'll go ahead and cancel that. Yeah, just just pretend you didn't see anything. Um, so you go and you want to select none, so you don't in install the entire texture archive on your your computer unless you just want to. I mean that's that's perfectly fine, but uh, make sure that they are unchecked. I was completely ignoring the checkboxes, and I'm like, I'm going to select this one, and it's only going to take that one. <laughs> so, just check that one, extract, select, and yeah, it might actually be something like that. I was really tired when I first did this, so uh, I was getting it done, but I wasn't being the most efficient that I could with it, so I'm actually probably going to have to go back and delete most of those, but that's okay. So after you do that, then uh, if it is in the proper directory, once you go back into Outfit Studio, then it, it should have the texture on there correctly. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. If it doesn't, then you probably have to go into, uh, into SSE Edit and point it to the right texture. But if it is uh, just a replacer or a mod, then the mod will have... Um, something in there for that but that's that's a topic for another video so thanks for watching guys if you like this video you know give it a thumbs up if you you didn't like it you know you can always give it a thumbs down as well and it won't hurt my feelings and uh, comment if you have a more efficient way to do this or an easier way to do this which this is this is really really easy I mean all you do is import it and export it just import NIF once it's in there then export it and rewrite the old one and that's 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 really good
I don't really think that it can be much simpler than that, but, you know, if you do find a way that's simpler, you can do it all in batch, because I did have to do these one by one, but if you find a batch, you know, leave a comment down, down there, and, uh, well, that's pretty much it.